I'm Dr. Gail Dubinsky, orthopedic medicine physician and certified Kundalini Yoga instructor. Today's clip is Shavasana tips. Now what's the big deal? Shavasana, you lie down after yoga, right? But there's a few little fine points that will enhance your practice. And because I do not end my yoga clips with the Shavasana included, that's for you to do on your own at the end afterwards, I want to just discuss here a little bit about how to make your Shavasana the most optimal. First of all, Shavasana, as you probably know, means corpse pose in Sanskrit, but we use this term in Kundalini Yoga as well, is for relaxation after a yoga set or a Kriya, and particularly if the Kriya has been strenuous, it's even more important to really take some time to relax. Now, you can sometimes just do a final relaxation seated with conscious, slow breathing. But if, as I said, it's been an active Kriya, it's nice to lie down and really let go. So I would say an optimal minimum time is about three minutes, but you can go longer. And you want your breathing and your heart, your heart rate and just your sense of energy activation to calm down to a nice resting state. And so first of all, um, you wanna be comfortable. So you want to have a pillow under your head, perhaps a pillow under your knees, perhaps a blanket to cover yourself up to stay warm. And when you are ready to come out of Shavasana, little tricks of the trade, so to speak, you can first rotate your wrists and ankles. We're kind of waking up our nervous system here. And then of course, one thing to do, and you know, animals are so into yoga. They just love to accompany us in our yoga practice. So I may have a feline assist at some point soon here. You can bring your knees into the chest and just relax, breathing. And you can start to rock a little bit from side to side. And you can even take your knees all the way over and you can stretch the opposite arm out. Now, some people like to do one leg at a time like this. I don't recommend this if you have a uh, sacroiliac or other kind of back problem. But some people do like, I prefer the two legs. Anyway, coming back to being on your back again, you can lift up your feet and rub your palms and your soles together to activate all the nerve endings in the feet and hands. And then to come up, you can either roll on your side and sit up. Or you can do a little roll up and down on your spine a few times. I like to sort of support myself with on the ground. Other times you can just hug like this. And then just come up. But you generally, you want to take your time coming up and take your time to equilibrate a little bit before you go ahead and get up and go have your breakfast or go about your day. So that's just a little few details of Shavasana, because as I said, we will not be showing it at the end of our clips. Satnam. I hope you enjoyed this video and that practice helps reduce pain and stress and enhance your well-being. Please check out my other short videos on this channel and my full-length videos at rxyoga.com. I welcome your comments, likes, feedback, and suggestions for new videos. And don't forget to subscribe. Namaste.